Hey everybody, uh, my name is Mikhail and I'm hoping that this will actually help you out quite a bit. Um, I've noticed actually um, through hearsay and my own experience that when it comes to working on these fuckers and doing this specific job, it's not very easy to find the information that you need uh, when it comes to specific questions. So I'm hoping to simplify all that for you. and. Um, I uh, hope this helps. Anyway, we have a 2003 uh, Subaru Outback. It uh, originally comes with a 2.5 um, EJ25, uh, 2.5 liter four cylinder, and uh, which is this fucker over here. Uh, but we swapped it out with an EJ20 uh, upon customer's request because he had this fucker sitting around and didn't really give two, two fucks about a uh, rebuild. Uh, anyway, some important questions that a lot of people ask uh, when it comes to um, doing this job. What are the steps that you need to um, take to make this work? What things do you need to swap, so on and so forth. So, I've noticed in a lot of different places uh, they have a lot of different useless information or one thing out of 20 that you're asking at all times. Um, anyhow, uh, this ought to simplify everything for you. Uh, the intake and the wiring harness and all of the electronics uh, from the EJ25 uh, were taken off and installed on the 2.0. Uh, every single sensor too, so your cam sensor, your crank sensor, your oil pressure sensor, fucking your knock sensor, everything. It all got swapped over. Your coil, your fucking wires, your, everything was swapped over. The intake for the EJ25 is uh, a lot a bit more mechanical than um, the intake for the 2.0. That one is uh, pretty well uh, electrical in many different ways. Um, anyway, the EJ20 doesn't even have a um, uh, camshaft position sensor or the EGR with the tube that goes down to the exhaust. So uh, you got to swap things out and you got to modify a lot of shit too. So uh, anyway, uh, let's see your harmonic balancer, aka crank pulley. You're going to want to swap that. The sprocket that sits behind it. You're going to want to swap that too. Now this one here is for a 2.5, unfortunately, right here. One of the notches broke off, so we replaced that. Um, here's the one for the 2.0. It's got a lot of freaking notches on it, so you're totally going to get a different reading in the PCM uh, if you use that one. It's just not going to work. Uh, anyway, this right here is not your timing mark that you use to line shit up with. You actually have a line. Uh, there it is, right there. So you're going to want to use that notch to do your time. Uh, all right, anyway, uh, let's see. This guy right here, this is the engine right uh, camshaft pulley. Uh, it's actually the same as on the 2.5. Just th this one here is, I don't know, maybe aftermarket or so. This one's a composite material, the one that came on the other engine. Um, there's die cast or... Uh, whatever the fuck material it was. I just swapped everything over just to keep everything together. Um, anyhow, so you don't really got to worry about swapping that gear over, but I, I do just to fucking stay uniform, I suppose. Um, however, over here on the engine left, or my right, this camshaft gear has to be swapped. Um, this one uh, being the gear for the 2.5, has many more notches on the back that that camshaft position sensor pays attention to than this one does. This one only has two. That one over there has five or six. So you're gonna wanna swap those out too. Um, so anyway, I already covered all the sensors and shit and the intake and all that other good stuff you wanna swap over. So pretty much what you see here is what you need to have left over on the engine that you're taking everything off of. So you're gonna swap the works. I mean, I suggest you go ahead and do your AC as well, your alternator, your power steering pump. Usually the alternator and the AC are about the same, but sometimes there's different bolt holes and shit, so just go ahead and swap it all over. Um, on the back of your intake for the 2.5, like I said, you have that breather tube coming from the EGR that reaches down in the back and goes into the uh, exhaust port. The EJ20 does not have that hole drilled or tapped because it doesn't have that EGR. And it's not plugged either. So on that engine, right here, you're gonna have to drill it out and tap the hole so that way you can 
spin that fucker in there, get it nice and secure, so that way it'll work. But when you do, just be careful not to use too long of a drill. Uh, anything longer than maybe two inches would be a little too much. Uh, if you go too deep, you'll actually hit the uh, uh, push rod that sits right behind here. And that probably won't be good. So just be careful on that. Make sure you don't fuck that up. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, have someone else do it who's got a little bit of experience and you're fine. Um, also, you want to make sure you swap out your wiring harness because this fucking piece of shit right here is 100% non compatible with the uh, harness on the chassis. I'll show that to you right now. <clears throat> There's our connections. Uh, it's, you know, fucking basic. Yeah, three different little things there. And those do not plug into this box over here anywhere okay they definitely don't plug into this harness anywhere either those two sort of kind of but unfortunately you'll have all that shit right there that goes nowhere so it's not gonna help you out at all but just go ahead and swap your wiring harnesses so you don't have any confusion or issues or any stupid shit like that um, and you'll be all right and uh, definitely swap out your flywheel because this fucker right here is super small. This is the one that came off of the 2.0. Um, and these bolt holes here do not line up um, anywhere close to where they need to be on the torque converter inside the transmission. Uh, so you, the bigger flywheel off of the 2.5 needs to come off and go on the 2.0 before you put that fucker in. And then after you're done doing all that, it's good. Um, just make sure you set your timing correctly. You want your crank at top dead center. You'll know when it's there. If you pop out, say the first cylinder uh, spark plug, put your finger over the hole, twist the son of a bitch until you feel a little air coming out. And then you know once that notch lines up where it's supposed to be, when you come around, then it's top dead center. Uh, I'll show you what notch I'm talking about. It's not gonna be on your, your pulley or, or uh, your harmonic balance or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it's going to be, again, on the sprocket back here. So this little guy right here would be what you want to line up with the dot or the line or whatever it is. That's going to be sitting basically on the housing for your crankshaft position sensor. On this one it's a little bit of a notch, on the other one it's a dot. So that's what you're going to line that up with. And then uh, the same notch, this notch right here on the um, backing to the timing cover. So that notch you're going to line up with the gear on the engine left or your right if you're looking at it from the front. And then over here uh, for this cam, once you have the gear on there, it's got a notch, um, but you're not going to line that up with anything that's obvious here on the, on the engine. Um, there's no dot or notch made or anything like that like the other two. This one you actually just have to line it up right there with where I'm going to say the inner valve cover uh, meets the head. So right there is where you're going to line the notch from uh, this cam gear that sits on that son of a bitch up to. So you're going to line it up there and, and then you'll have that son of a bitch set. And then afterwards, you know, just make sure your tensioner is good and uh, uh, spin it around a few times uh, just to make sure everything stays in place. And then, you know, I think it's uh, per every two spins of the crank, you get one specific spin um, of the cams. So spin it around twice, make sure those notches are still all lined up and shit. And she'll fire up for you. Now this I just dropped in and hooked everything up, so this will actually be the first fire up of uh, this engine sitting in this vehicle. Uh, the exhaust is disconnected, so don't mind the loud noise. And uh, also, the idle has not been calibrated yet, so it's probably going to be a little high. Uh, but just to show you that that is all you need to do to make this son of a bitch works. Here we go. So, 
in the end, stick to that shit, and just swap everything over pretty much, and uh, you'll be set. And just be sure to get the right timing belt. Uh, I suggest replacements. Um, even though the timing belt for the 2.0 and the 2.5 are pretty much exactly the same, I would just go ahead and replace it if you're doing something like this. And also set the timing when the engine's outside of the vehicle. It's a pain in the dick to do it when it's inside and when it comes to figuring out where top dead center is and shit. You don't really have room to pull any plugs and shove anything in there. So, of course on these ones you do. And regardless, it's just easier to do it outside of the engine before you put the fucker in here. Um, and uh, so on and so forth. The belt that you're going to need if you if you want to order it uh, without going to a parts store and having them look it up for you is a Gates uh, T304 timing belt. Um, it, it goes for like $35, $37, some shit like that. And I don't know, I've seen some of them go for 100 but it just depends on where you get it. Uh, but anyway, after you're done with that, this fucker's good to go. Um, if there's any questions that uh, I missed that uh, you don't already have answered, uh, go ahead and drop a comment, and I'll do my absolute best to help you out any way I possibly can.